last season on Gadfly. So Dr. Callan's gone. Um, he uh, he went away on sabbatical. But, uh, you know, he should be back any day now. I don't think it's supposed to really be that long. Um, you know, we do, we, we need a moderator and everyone's like, oh, we need a new moderator. But, you know, there's just no one who moderates like Dr. Callan moderates and I just really miss him, you know? I honestly don't know where he is. Um, probably still sleeping. Need I remind you that it's 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, look, we love Dr. Callan, he's a great moderator, but when he's not here, we get about as much done as vegan bacon on a BLT. I'm gonna make a right on Oakland, left on Kings Highway, I'm gonna hop on 40, you're gonna take that all the way until you get to St. Charles County, and when you get there, you're gonna be like, hey, I don't know where Dr. Callan is. Back in the days on the boulevard I lived it. We used to kick routines and the presence was fit And it was I, the abstract And me the five footer I kicks the mask style so step off the Frank footer See this badge? This badge means something. It's about my work. It's what I do. This badge is a symbol. Symbol of the life I live and the things I do. I don't like putting kids away, but I also don't like when kids break rules. So if, uh, if you're trying to sneak in corn and I gotta beat you with the police baton, I gotta beat you with the police baton. And I'm not gonna enjoy it, but I'm gonna do it. So let that be a warning. Tackling people, hitting people, saving the world. You know, corn cob by corn cob. Every corn cob that I pry from the hands of an Illinois rat is a corn cob that my son won't touch. All right. Now I don't know about you folks out there, but I despise the Illinoisans for what they do. I despise their way of life. I despise. These students from Illinois have to be separated from their friends and ridiculed just to get into this school. They have to wait in line for upwards of three hours just to get an education. Upon entering the school, they are victim to harassment by the customs agents. You need the gloves. While the students from Illinois go through customs, we can see that the Missouri students walk into school unaffected. What's up with that? Why Our camera crew was on the scene as a riot broke out. Monday, Monday, so good to me. crew contacted Mr. Tim Moore, self-proclaimed Moses of the Illinois people. We tagged along as he tried to smuggle a group of students into SLU. So, uh, well, uh, how long did it take to get here, huh? 45? Yeah. Roughly? Something suspicious, huh? Up in, uh, the back? I can feel the world to But hope is not all lost for these Illinois students as one of their comrades escapes.
What's up, Brian? What's up, Darren? Thank you very much. I feel like the crookedness of my nose, you know, this one right here, is uh, almost like a new piece of me that can't be replaced. I could levitate right now. Oh my telepathy. You wanna see? I'll show you. Come on. Thank you. Mm. You see me levitating. What's your name? Uh Jimmy. But according to the raccoon that lives down the street from me, I did get a new nose. They called it, uh, quote, that new new nose. It's more along the lines of what I looked like before. You know, the young Adonis that I was with my rippling muscles and such. Hey, nice nose. <laughs> I'm gonna miss people coming to me in the hallway and uh, asking me the latest nose story, you know? They would ask me, you know, what's up with your face, man? Your face is all messed up. What's wrong with you? Going back to my normal life. Hey! Hey, okay. I feel like, he, I think he's just having a bad day, you know? Um, I don't know why he was upset. You know, we're, we're friends all the time. You know, he loves giving me high fives. The world is my oyster, and I am the world's oyster as well. My shell is open, per se. Yeah. So is your shirt as well. Oh, yeah. Shirt as well. Alright. Well...